Hi everyone. So today we're going to make a fun Game of Thrones inspired encouragement card. So if you have any friends or family in your life who are Game of Thrones fans, this I think is a great card for them. The stamp sets that we're going to use are by Mama Elephant, the Dragon Wishes stamp set, and the Me and My Dragon stamp set. So the Dragon Wishes stamp set has these smaller dragons and then they also have a lot of great encouraging sayings like you're unique and wonderful just as you are thanks for believing in me out there there may be monsters but in you there's a dragon believe and you can do just about anything and I'm here for you all of me and my dragons and then finally the sentiment we're going to use for this card which is you're a dragon be a dragon so go kick some butt so here I'm recreating the scene from last week's episode of Game, and Thro Game of Thrones where the three dragons are flying in the sky above Winterfell and it's this really, really pretty scene with lots of blues and grays and blacks and there's a pretty moon in the background kind of illuminating the sky and I thought that it would be fun to try to um, recreate that look with this card using these cute little stamp sets. So. For the images, I stamped them with Mento Black ink. This is Express It blending card paper um, that I'm using, and it is an A2 size card. And then I'm just masking the images now with some Simon Says Stamp masking tape, and we are gonna start working on our clouds. So I'm using four different Distress Oxide colors, Tumbled Glass, Stormy Sky, Faded Jeans, and Chip Sapphire. And then also this stencil by MFT Stamps called the Cloud Edges Stencil or the Mini Cloud Edges Stencil. And I'm going to get to work with my first little row of clouds and we're going to use the Faded Jeans to start, which is one of the darker blues that we're going to be using. This is my first time using this ink on the Express It Blended card and it worked just fine. The only thing that you can't really do with the blended card is if you want to spray water to activate the um, Distress Oxide ink, it won't, it won't look right. Um, you'll get some pilling and you won't really activate the ink all that well. So on one of the versions of the card I'm going to show you, I did that and as you'll see it didn't really activate well. So on this one I decided not to spray water and just to go with um, the look of the Distress Oxides alone. And then if I needed to kind of jazz things up a little bit, I just went in with my Copic markers and did it that way. So I'm kind of alternating the colors that I'm using between the layers of clouds, between the stormy sky, the faded jeans, and the tumbled glass. And then on the very edges of the scene, we're gonna use the darker chip sapphire. In some areas, I'll use two different colored inks, so a dark ink and a light ink, just to kind of add to the hazy effect in the sky. Um, and I'm just kind of alternating the edges that I'm using just so that we get lots of variations with the different clouds. There's really no wrong or, or right way to do this. Just kind of have fun and make sure that you leave a little bit of white space in between your layers because that's what's going to make the scene pop and um, add to the to the effect of having just a, a big fluffy cloud filled sky. So I'm just kind of working around and working around um, until I feel like I have enough layers of cloud but yet still enough of that white space because our design is going to depend a lot on the little pops of white throughout just to um, make us believe that there is a, a moon in the background that is illuminating this great little dragon battle that is playing out in the in the air and I just I love the mama elephant um, me and my dragon stamp set I love the little girl who's sitting on top of the dragon's head I think it looks a lot like Daenerys and um, there's also a little boy that kind of looks like Jon Snow. So if you wanted to do a scene with both of them riding their dragons, you could do that as well. Lots of, lots of fun that you could have with the Dragon Wishes and Me and My Dragon stamp set. 
All right, so the ink blending looks good to me and now we can move on to coloring in our images. So I'm just gonna peel off the masking tape with the help of my tool in one um, so that I don't smear any ink as I'm getting these off. And we're gonna start with the skin tone on our little Mother of Dragons character and we're gonna use E21 and E13 because it is a night scene, so she's gonna appear darker even though she's fair skinned. And then we're going to fill in her hair with some E42, Y26, and then Y28. For the little ears and the belly on the dragon, we're gonna use R00. And then for any areas where my masking paper um, kind of co covered over where the color should be for the sky. I just went in and added it with my Copic marker. So that's what I was doing with those blues a second ago. We're going to give some little rosy cheeks to Daenerys's dragon. I guess this is Drogon. We're going to use R30 for that and then R30 for the belly. And then also R30 for the underside of the wings with some R00 beneath it. R00 is a little bit lighter than R30. So a lot of times when I'll be drawing like wings, uh, not wings, but like ears, like the inside of ears on little critters, I'll use a combination of R22 as my darkest, sometimes R20 is my second darkest, R30 and then R00 is my lightest colors. So for the little dragon that Daenerys is, is riding on, we're gonna use BV20 through 29. For this, it's a really um, nice, like purplish gray color. So it's a little bit more purpley than our um, just typical cool grays. Um, so that's why I liked it. I thought it would just add a tiny little bit of, of interest to our image. So I just filled everything in with the B20, filled it everything, meaning everything on the dragon. And now I'm just trying to um, add some shadows around the body of the dragon and I'm using my B99 marker for that and it ended up being a little bit darker than I expected it to be so I decided that we would just fill in the entire bottom um, and sides of the scene with this really dark color and then we're going to go over everything with some darker distress oxide inks to blend it in and I actually like the way, the, the look that it, it gives the scene. It kind of makes it um, really reinforce the idea that they are kind of flying around and having this epic battle in the, in the middle of a storm. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm taking um, some chip sapphire distress oxiding and just blending in that B99 Copic marker into the sides. And I'm just gonna add some more color towards the bottom and then blend it all out. Um, if you want your sky to be a little bit lighter, you can skip this step. And again, this step started as just, I made a, a mistake in using too dark of a marker around my, my little dragon, so I had to darken everything up to accommodate that. And then I'm also taking some black soot distress oxide ink, which is the darkest color in the distress oxide ink family. It's just pure black. And I'm going around the very edges of the scene and I really, really like that smoky, hazy look that, that it gives to the scene. I'm just gonna speed the coloring up just a little bit here for this last section of coloring because the coloring on the dragons is pretty straightforward. We're going to color in our main dragon, like I said, with the BV 2023. 25 and 29, focusing the lighter colors towards the middle of the body and then the darker colors uh, around the little um, sides and edges of the body, like the side of the wing here, we're gonna put some dark shadowing. And then on the top of the other wing, underneath the tail, by the leg, the little arm crease will give some shading too. And then right under where Daenerys is sitting and then also the neck will make that a little bit shaded 
and then we'll blend that out with our BV23 and then just work our way in um, back with the BV20 and then at the end we'll go in and put a little bit darker of a shadowing with the BV29 in some areas. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If any of you are Game of Thrones fans, I'd love to hear what you thought of episode three, The Battle of Winterfell or The Long Night. I really loved the episode. I was on the edge of my seat the entire hour and 20 minutes. I really didn't know which way things were going to go. I was happy to see that. Um, I guess, spoiler alert, if, if you haven't watched the episode yet, just mute the next 10 seconds. I was happy to see that a lot of our main characters made it through the battle because I do want to hang out with them for the, the final three episodes of the season or, or for as long as I guess they can last. I really love the, the visual effects in the episode. I thought that the, the battle scene, I thought that the dragon fire the storm. It was just, it was gorgeous. Um, and I also love the making of video that HBO released to kind of show how they did all of those special effects and all the battle scenes. And it's amazing the amount of work that they, that they put into, um, that they put into the episode. Um, I really don't know like what, where the show's going to go next, because after you have an epic battle like that with the dead, like do, do politics matter anymore? You know, and if they do, like, does that mean that you didn't really learn any lesson in, in fighting that, that great battle that, you know, I guess life is what's most important, not like who sits on the throne. But anyway, it'll be interesting to see how the last three episodes um, play out. And I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the, the show and the episode as well below and who your favorite characters are. All right. So now we're going to work on the, our little Ragel dragon and for him i'm using some yg 90 color so yg 91 to 97 and i use the same style of coloring as we did for the little mother of dragons in terms of where i put the shading now we're going to work on our little um, white walker dragon viserion i guess and we're going to use just some straight cool grays with him and then we're going to make the inside of his wing blue so B00 I use there and B000. And then we're going to give Viserion a little blue flame with some B00 and B000. So two zeros and three zeros. Um, we're going to give Rhaegal a traditional bright yellow dragon flame. I know it should have been more red orangey, but I thought that the yellow would just look nicer on the card. So we went more with a, a yellow flame. And that is it for the coloring. So now it's time to add the sentiment and we're going to add this cute little sentiment that says you're a dragon, be a dragon. So go kick some butt. And I'm going to stamp our sentiment in the lower right hand corner using my Misty. And I use, I put some Versamark ink on there and then we're going to use some white embossing powder and then heat set that. And I just love how the white stands out against the dark of the, of the background. Then we're going to put everything onto an A2 size card base using my tape runner. And I applied the tape directly to the card base so that we didn't have to flip this pretty scene over and possibly smear it. I'm just kind of brushing off any of the anti-static powder that I put on earlier. And now we'll add some black glaze pen to the eyes of the dragons. And then we'll just add very, very light um, white highlights. So I'm going to put a couple little dots on the little spots on the dragon. We'll give some tiny little freckles around the head and then maybe up along the sides of the wing. Very, very, and I'm going very, very light. They're really, really small white dots and I pressed like very, very lightly because I just wanted the slightest little hint of color just to kind of pull that little dragon out from the night sky because the part on the card where he is is really dark. So I wanted to make sure that we could see him. And then just to make sure they're matchy matchy, we'll add some little white dots to our two little dragons who are way back in the scene. And then add some little white highlights to the flame. And that is it. So that is our card for today. 
I just love this little Game of Thrones inspired encouragement card. And then I'm also gonna show you the first version that I made. And this one says, out there may be monsters, but in you it is a dragon. And here you'll see I sprayed water on the, the one on the right and it doesn't quite it doesn't quite look that great, I don't think. So I would not recommend spraying water on the Express It London card. Um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments which of the cards you like best. Also, which of the scenes from last week's episode of Game of Thrones you like best, what you're looking forward to this week, and what projects you're all working on. Thanks a lot, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give these cards a try, and I will see you again soon in the next video.